Hello to all my guys, girls, gays, days, and everybody in between. Welcome to the She Lead Showcase. I am your hostess with the most. This is the shaman of She Lead. Putting it in quotes, the hardest working woman in podcasting. Your bitch has been slacking. Um, <clears throat> Katie Kinsey, baby. Hey, baby. Joining me, of course, over here this way. There we go. My lovely co host, the Young Bucks Nation sensation, the fire breathing, the Rhodes family eating, the spice of life, the sassiest senior uh, that I know, the hangman Adam Page, to my will devil Adam Cole, devil. baby. Little devil. Little devil. <laughs> I do like this, but oh. There we go. This will be little devil. This is baby. Devil's up yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Y2 Garcia Savannah. Savannah, what's up? Um, nothing much. Just again, just oh boy, we. If this is why she joined the pre-shows. We were talking about how I'm done with school in two weeks. Holy shit! She's graduating in two. I know. Weeks. We just talked about how I was eating solid foods last week. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, like, oh, was- you yeah, you were. You know, you're onto solid foods now. Clearly, you're having a little snickety snack, a little solid yeah, food, having, having gushers. Oh, I love gushers. I, I know I'm a sucker for gushers. Oh, no, I love but yeah. <clears throat> um, other than that, I'm surprisingly okay. Like I'm like maybe just because it hasn't hit yet, but I'm just like, all right. You know, my busy last week was, you know, I got over that. Mm-hmm. So I think now I'm just like, all right, we'll we'll be we'll be okay. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be fine. You know, we we got you. We're here. All that matters. And you know what else matters, Savannah? What is that, Katie? If they go to twitch.tv slash Sheila Showcase, y'all can follow the channel. You can subscribe to the channel. You can, uh, you know, you got the Amazon Prime. You got that Prime Gaming. As I'm going to be honest, guys, I don't have any of that shit. <laughs> I don't have Amazon Prime. But I know y'all do. So, you take that. You go on your laptops here. You... Do, do this. Go on Twitch. Do go your favorite. <laughs> no matter how you do it, you just do this. Just this. Um, like a hacker and like a movie where this is this is all they do and it somehow does everything. Yeah, that. You go on there. You go to your favorite Twitch streamers. It's us. It's us. It but you know, if it if it's not us, yeah. we get it. That's fine. You know, create your world. We'll only be a radio. little offended. A little offended, but not totally offended. I get it. <laughs> Um, I do. It's okay. Yeah, like it's it's fine. But you know, you can go there. You don't want to do Twitch? You may not do Twitch. You can do YouTube. YouTube.com slash Chili Showcase. You can subscribe. You can like videos. You can comment on videos. You can watch the pre shows if you miss them. Hey, Jesus. What's happening over here? Josh, oh, hold on. Before I continue, Josh said, Sup, y'all. Jesus. Hello, hello, hello. No, this hello, hello, hello matters. That's what um, firewalls and doxes and codes and such from Will R.I.P. Don Gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. We'll talk yeah, about that. It. We'll talk about it. Um, oh, good job, Will. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I also didn't know you drank, so that's interesting. But regardless, y'all want to do that? Cool. You want to hit up patreon.com slash Showcase? You Pretty should. Good. You should. I think this weekend, I finally, now that, like, my sister's wedding's over and I have a little bit of time to breathe, I'm finally going to get that new video that I've been wanting to do up. Yay! True crime, baby. True crime shit. It'll be on there. I'm very excited. I gotta change the logo, because I realize it's the name of somebody else's, so I gotta switch that. But, easy fix. And then, you know, you you guys like wrestling merch. We like wrestling merch. You guys like us. We have things. Sheila Showcase.com. Like 
<laughs> you like us, maybe, perhaps. Who knows? Or you know someone who does. Yeah, you know, you might not like us, but you know, like a cousin's brother's friend's dog might like us. Yeah. Someone likes us. Someone Hopefully. Likes us. Hopefully. Um, anything you want to talk about before I dive into these t t ridiculous news and rumors? Um, no. Just, I'm surprisingly okay. That's about it. That's a. Hey, that's all that fucking matters is that yeah. you are okay. Hails yeah. And all of you are okay. You know, mental health. That's all that matters. Oh, there you go. It matters. Yeah. Check this it, out. It does matter. All right. <clears throat> so let's start things off here. We got some. We got some releases. We got a, we got a handful you... of releases from WWE. Um, there was like a, a handful and then just like one or two kind of sprinkled out after the fact. So Zion Quinn, Jinder Mahal, Zia Lee, which that hurts. <laughs> I thought of you when I saw that. I was like, ooh, Katie's okay, going to be upset. If y'all know the lore of Katie in the Sheely Showcase world, that hurts me. Um, and then Veer and Sangha. So the entirety of Indus year. Um, that was like the main list. And then it was kind of just like briefly thrown out that Von Wagner from NXT was also released. Yeah, kick to the face. Hi, Rick. Perfect time to show up. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zylee kind of started all of the and Sonia, and it's a whole thing. You got I think you have to go to Smack or actually to find that shit. Um yeah, then Von Wagner was released, and that was kind of just a surprise. And then in a very sad video because man's was Dude, crying. that shit I wanted to cry watching that video. Like Cameron Grimes, you know, to the moon. That's sad because you could tell he was very like I guess I just saw on Twitter today. I was at work. I just found this. He went on busted open and said he just had a conversation with someone higher up saying that like he'll always have a job in WWE and then five days later he gets released. Who liked him? I want to know who liked him. We're going to pull up. Who did it? Who the fuck? We're going to pull up. Because why would you say that to the poor man? And then less than a week why later. Why would you lie to him like that? Yeah. Can do that disrespectful. Disrespect. I literally got nothing on that zip. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, Reeks up what's happening to my people. Oh, you know, much. Not much. <laughs> Doing the show. Typical things. <laughs> just just doing the show, yeah. <laughs> you know, the win this. Um, Seth Rollins. Sethery Rollins. Our boy Sethery. The MVP of WrestleMania. Hands fucking down. Man's had a torn meniscus during both nights of WrestleMania. Finally had surgery on it. Uh, Becky did disclose that information in an interview uh, sometime last week after our show and he did have surgery on the meniscus that was torn and i read that it could be anywhere between like two to six months seth is gone uh, better pull a john cena and show up like honestly it wouldn't surprise me seth is kind of like he's resilient uh, yeah he knows what he's doing from the moon to the basement that's that hurts <sighs> Crossing is like politics. True. True. Uh, yeah, so that's very unfortunate for Seth. Not happy about that. No Roman. No Sethery. No Rhea. What am I gonna do? Katie, you, you, got, your, you got your NXT peeps. I got my NXT peeps. I'm gonna fucking talk about my NXT yeah, peeps know, in a minute. I know you are. I know you are. So. Y'all see that title up there? I don't know if they can, but you can. <laughs> Wolf that trick. Uh, <laughs> so TNA had their show, uh, their pay per view this past weekend. Uh, I don't remember which one it was, if I'm gonna be honest. Can't remember which pay per view it was, but Broken Matt Hardy showed up at the very end of the main event, holding the uh, TNA World title, whatever it's called. Rebellion. Rebellion. Thank you. Ah, thank you, JJ. Thank you, Reek. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so Bergen Matt Hardy showed up. 
apparently he didn't sign anything. Like, he's not under contract with them, but he's also not under contract with AEW. He's kind of just Bouncing there. around. Let him bounce. But also, we left Jeff <laughs> in AEW. <laughs> he just said bye. Like, they got into all this beef with Sammy Guevara, and then he said... Like, the so Homer Simpson like, meme where he just fades into the bushes. He's like, I already did my time with Sammy Guevara. I've done my waiting. I've already had my injury from him. Mm-hmm. Actually, it was twice. It was the have. first. The first time, it was when Sammy Guevara threw the chair right in his face. And then it was the whole situation at All Out when he they jumped off the freaking thing. <laughs> We've moved past the needs of the Hardys, TBH. Honestly, agreed. Not even a hot take. That's true. Like, th- y'all, no, no, no. We don't need it anymore. And there's another person who won a title this weekend. Savannah, I'm looking at you for a specific reason. You know who. Oh, I wonder who. I'll get to him in a minute. But we're in the dynasty of what happened this weekend now. In their zero hour, happened. I guess. A lot of titles changed hands. Um, as you dubbed them, I think it was last week, Bang Bang Diego Luna Gang. Yes. Shout out. Now, the unified trios tag champs, because what the fuck? I also just saw on Twitter that apparently Max Caster is suspended right now from AEW. For what? I don't know. I'm probably being a dumbass and talking shit. When he doesn't need to be. Okay. That I actually right. don't know, but I saw a tweet and I was just like, honestly, good. Anthony Bowen's single star. I've been saying it. LMFAO, what? That's he tweeted it. You can check his Twitter. Because someone said, Are you done in a like are you done with AEW? And he said, I am suspended. Okay, bid bye. See you later. See you never. It's like the Loki meme very sad. Anyway. <laughs> honestly, true. I don't even give a shit. Um more t- again, almost every title change stands. Almost, not all of them. Um, new TBS champion, the sweetest girl in the world, Willow Nightingale. Hell yeah. Deserved. Deserved. I can't even be mad because Julia, you know, lost. She did lose, and that sucks, but she did have a very nice vignette after the fact with Brody King kind of stepping up and being like, now it's time to rebuild. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Okay, good. Where's Malika? <laughs> he's he's cooking. He's probably cooking in the back. Did okay. Since I didn't watch it, because reasons. I only caught the last few matches, so I don't know if I'll have an answer to your question. <laughs> I was just gonna say, did House of Black win their match? Wait, what was their match? It was against the, uh, those three versus Copeland, Kingston, and... Oh, yes, um, they did. They did. No shit, really? Yes. The, I was yes. like, oh my god. The house always wins. House always wins. And they win when it matters. Yeah, Sometimes. right? Never take. Oh, good. Yay. Good. They needed to win. I'm happy. And now now it really like makes sense what Brody said to... Uh, not Willow. Julia. After she lost to Willow. So, Jericho won the FTW championship, and Svanna, I just have a question. Why? I, I don't know, bro. I'm not Booker of the Year. We can't ask Tony Khan why now, because you got murdered on his own show last night. <laughs> Bro got his ass cooked. Dude, I don't know if it was supposed to be taken as hilariously as myself. He looked like a bag of wet noodles. Me, Brooke, and Jaylee were absolutely losing it. Like we, I'm like, I don't. We were like, I don't think this was supposed to be like taken as. Oh, this is funny, but we thought it was the funniest shit ever. Uh And they just left him there. Like he was just laid there. Like no paramedics came in. Like yes, like the ringside like positions were there. Like Doc Samson was there. No one matters. really came to help. Like they just let him stay there, like laying down. He did look like Snow White. The way his arms are like, do look like he was like ready to be buried. Um, so I thought that was funny, and then his dad showed up at the end. Rare Shad Khan sighting. That was crazy. But the, the funniest thing 
is the people i know we kind of jumped ahead on the news but that's right. um whatever the funniest yep. thing though it, are the memes on twitter people are talking about how because tonight as of recording it's thursday it is the nfl draft and as y'all know that the tony khan is like a co-owner or whatever of the jacksonville jaguar so everyone's like dude mm-hmm. tony khan needs to show up or they need to show him like in their if he's not in a neck the brace, then he's yes, fake. Or like, in, or like on a stretcher or in a wheelchair. We, like that shit I'd would be so wheel fun. his fucking ass. Yes, exactly. Care. That shit would be so funny. Yeah, like, I don't I, give a fuck about the draft. I need someone to tell me if he shows up wearing a neck brace or something. I'm not going to be able to watch because I have a show afterwards. But it's at a brewery. So if there's TVs, I'm like, surely at least one of them will have Oh, some ones don't have the draft on. If, it, or if there's Wi-Fi, I'll log in on, like, my phone or my iPad or something. I'll do there something. You. I'm like, I just, I need to see. They're, they're the 17th pick, but, of course, trades happen, like, at the last second. So you really oh, just got to pay attention. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I thought that was hilarious. I'm like, yes, I need to see Tony <laughs> Khan, like, in the neck brace. He needs to really sell that shit. He better. Uh, Jesus said, Chris Allen are laughing in the background. 10 out of 10, no notes. Factual. Rick said, Shaq, I'm about to fire everybody. Matt said, I actually enjoyed the TK stuff. I did too. I was laughing my ass off. As, as soon as Perry looked in that fucking camera, you knew the game was on. Smile. I love it. I love his smug little smile that looks so cute and innocent at the same time. Like It's like, I know your dirty tricks. That's crazy. Um... Matt said, I watched it on Twitter because I shut shut the show off during the Battle Royal. Audio was awful Ooh, on TBS. Geez. Like, I just, I was dumbfounded with how awful that fucking audio was. They've had, this isn't like the first time they've had issues with audio. It's been, mm-hmm. they've had, they've had their fair share of issues with I wonder what it what's up with what's up with that TBS come on or AEW production team. Yeah, honestly, like and Tony Khan even tweeted about it. he's like, oh, I know the audio is off, and the TBS is fixing it. Fuck off, just fix it. She was bugging the whole time. Uh, and yeah, JJ completely understandable. Um. Where the fuck was I in these goddamn notes? Oh, well, that kind of plays into it. Jack Perry showed up at Dy- Dynasty. That played oh, into yeah, my notes. That's, that's also <laughs> Surprise, he showed up in a mask. A sting did mask. You see, did you see the video of him showing up to the ringside area? He was holding popcorn and all that. And people were like, oh, it's I him. did see that. It's yeah, his hair is too noticeable. Like... Oh yeah, he should have done. Way I just also, I just want to say that pop. Ooh, that was a good ass pop for him. Like, yeah, I didn't. Again, I only saw like clips and shit on Twitter from all of that. But you know what happened because he showed up, Katie, and new AW Tag Team Champions. Three, three. three times, three times. Get it? Because elite. Three elite. <laughs> <laughs> um, the EVPs, Math Madison, Nickelback, Jackson. <laughs> Look at this crap. <laughs> Look at this. Every time. It's, what, what is you say Nickelback, but you say Nickelback. That has to be the first thing that comes to your mind. I. It's definitely one of the uh, many thoughts go in my mind when I think about Nickelback. <laughs> I'm one of those people. I love Nickelback, and I say that with my whole chest. I've seen Nickelback live three times, and I am not ashamed to put on a damn okay. good show. Damn what good is show. the stigma? Like, I never understood, like, why people hate Nickelback so much. You know, no. Boo the elite. Except for Okada. That's JJ. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yay the elite. Especially Okada. Love that guy. Well, yeah. When, when, yeah, um, Kuchin, Ronda, of when he was gonna do, like, the pose, and then he just flipped him off and said, I'm like, yes! I did see that. That was crazy. And he's wild. I'm living for Hilokata. Uh, him doing the heel shit, and then this has nothing to do with news and rumors or anything, but it's on my notes for Smack and Earl. Shibata using his voice to text. My favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I, love I love it, it. so much. Yeah, it's I love just, it too. It's the little things in life, you know? The and simple that's things, yeah. He was like, <laughs> the heart in Renee's shirt. He was like, that looks nice. <laughs> I was like, this is beautiful. I love it. No notes. 10 out of 10. Um, and then last champion for AW, 
new AEW World Who's Champion house? Swerve. Who's house? Oh my God! Yes, finally shouting it. Yes, because we have talked about, especially I have talked about. I wanted to see Swerve as the champion, and now he finally mm. is. Seeing him celebrate was one of the most wholesome things I like. I got to see. From that night, oh my god! Even before he did the swerve stomp to get the one, two, three, oh my god! He just, he just, he knew, he was like so ready for it. He, he had the emotion in his face. It was all of it was just beautiful. I loved it. I this is so long overdue, well deserved, and it's his house, bitch. <coughs> it's his house, bitch. Damn. Yeah. Crazy. Um. Yeah. Obviously, again, I didn't watch it. As soon as I saw on Twitter that Swerve won, I went to fuck to sleep. I was so tired. You're like, I was great. exhausted. He'd be great. He won it. I was like, I don't think I wrote it that night. I was just like, Swerve won. Nighttime. See, see you later. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I was Because pay per views end like around midnight. Your time, no? Yeah. And this was, again, part of the reason why I was going on 20 hours of no sleep. Yay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so those are our new champions in AEW. Uh, and then just a few things for WWE news. NXT Battleground is going to take place in Vegas. Vegas. In the UFC um, Apex. Yes. That's yes. actually pretty damn cool. Like I, I, cool. I, I'm I, like, I would probably go see it if I had the money. June 9th, you'll be out of school. I will be out of school, but I think I'm actually going to be in Dallas that same weekend. Oh, We're going to go to the Rangers, yeah. Because, you know, Tejas. You know, because traveling in Tejas is a whole big trip in itself. I mean, I I only know from you. Yeah. This is you. Tejas, Tejas, Tejas. <laughs> she starts chanting Texas. Tejas. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jesus says boo. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You're getting booed. Your state is getting booed. Well, no, yeah, boo your state. Your state's no, I say, I'm like, I don't really. I'm your not state's offended. kind of, kind of the worst. One kind of the of... worst states. Florida's also up there. It's so like, I have like a very love hate relationship with my state because there's part of me is like, oh yeah, fuck all of you. We're Texan. We're better than y'all. But then also I'm like, dude, what the. Fuck? I'm like face then you're just like, oh god, we're Texans. Oh no. <laughs> exactly. That is, I'm just like, oh my god. Oh boy. I, as a Pennsylvanian, I understand. As a Pittsburgher specifically. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah. That's what I am. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, you are. I am not I am not incorrect. Oh fuck. I'm so hungry. <laughs> as am I. That's why I had a little snacky. But we're okay, gonna get afterwards. I'm gonna go pick up one of the guys and we're gonna go get food. And then we're going to the show. Cause ah, I'm jealous. I looked at the brewery. There's I didn't see a menu. So I was like, fuck. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Like have so, something. Yeah, so we're just gonna go get food before. Honestly, pop off. Pop off. Uh last two things for news and rumors. Okay. New women's world champion, Becky Lynch, one in a battle royal, which like I got beef with the Battle Royal in itself because y'all could have done like a tournament, made it. That's what I cool. thought. Like, you could have had something like be- crowned a new champion at Backlash. Come on now. It, yeah, it's literally in like less than a month. You exactly. They, you could have cooked with that. Could have, but they didn't because they hate us. You know? But none of that matters because oh. in the main event of NXT Spring Break in week one, and new NXT champion Trick Motherfucking Williams. When I tell you, I sat here flabbergasted. I had this whole idea that they're gonna do this shit with Trick losing. He's gotta leave NXT. Mello gets called up. He follows Mello in like a few weeks. I had this whole thing in my head. When he pinned Ilya Dragunov, the cameras in that building were shaking. That's how crazy that crowd fucking got for Trick. I sat here, mouth agape, 
tears flowing from my eyes. I don't even care. I was shook in the best way possible. Ah, uh, uh, Trick Williams, baby, let's <laughs> fucking go. <laughs> he whooped that yeah. trick, damn it. He did. I I saw the news and I was like, oh boy, Katie, Katie's out. Katie's out. Like, someone check on Katie. Is she alive? Someone Katie check her pulse, bro. Katie needed several moments. Just all like, the moments. She needed all the time. All the moments. All the moments, yeah. Uh, I'm so happy for Trick. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, NXT, see? Main roster might do me dirty every time, but NXT's got my back. Yeah, that's what I mean. You have your NXT peeps, you know? You always have your NXT peeps. Yeah, I don't have Rhea or Seth or even Roman's bitch ass. No, I got I got my NXT squad. Trick Willie, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, I feel like that was just a perfect thing to end this rumor then. Unless you have anything else that I Um, forgot. I do have one thing. We already Dang. talked about we already talked about Tony Khan getting his ass whipped. I think that's news. <laughs> it was funny news. Um, but there's something else. <sighs> Hence why I'm wearing this beautiful shirt here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's like an official return, but he is showing up next week in his home city of Winnipeg. I'm so happy because I remember thinking, like, this is going to be another time where, like, Kenny's just not meant to go back to Winnipeg. Or, like, Actually, he did, but that was with the whole when they um had the little tease with the elite. But I was like, Kenny just has bad luck with his own city. But no, he's gonna show up. I'm a little nervous because um they didn't specify what he was gonna like nope. do. But of course, I assumed the worst. So I'm like, I hope dude doesn't like go uh, to his own he, hometown. To man, listen, like, he's like, gonna get cooked by the elite, man. Okay, look, look, I know. I look. I'd rather have him get cooked by the elite than announcing he's fucking retiring. All right, like I, that's what I'm worried about. Like I don't want him to say like I just I can't. This is taking over, or I'm just I, I don't know when it's gonna when I'm gonna be better. I don't. I'm I'm expecting the worst, but I'm hoping for like even if again he's just getting cooked by his former best friends. Like, hey, I guess I'm we'll not, find out next week. Yeah, I'm just I'm nervous because I'm like. Why, if, if he's not better, if he's not cleared or better or close, you know, if they can mm. start building stuff up till he is, if it's nothing like that, I'm like, why would they have him show up? Like, if it's Listen, nothing bad. We're not Booker of the Year. The Booker of the Year is currently in a neck brace, <laughs> apparently, supposedly somewhere in Jacksonville. Getting ready to draft someone. Getting ready to, to draft the fucking NFL team. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Um. I'm just. I'm worried. They didn't specify what he was gonna say or what he was gonna talk about. So hopefully it is good. I feel like they would have said like, "Oh, he has an update or something." I don't know. I'm nervous. That's all I can well, say. Well, last thing, and then we'll move on. Didn't didn't like the arena that they're at like basically spoil it and they say spoiled it like the back. day before like he's coming back kenny's gonna be here they basically spoiled his return or his appearance but again they didn't specify what he was gonna be there for so i'm like Kenny. yeah yeah okay, okay. Motherfucker. i don't know which one's because there's so many of you that motherfucker back there is not real Hello, yeah. i say on the daily in my head I have a little baby Kenny right here. Where is? How do I take this out? Where's my little baby Kenny? She's showing her tennis. If I can get him out of the box, maybe allegedly, possibly. <laughs> there we go. Supposedly, supposedly. Yeah. I'm just trying. You. That motherfucker back there is <laughs> It's so funny. The whole video is crazy. There we go. A little baby yeah. Kenny. Fetus <laughs> Kenny. I, I ordered fetus books yesterday. I'm gonna be honest. Kenny and Trunks. Weird. It is weird. It is so weird to see him. I like Kenny. it. <laughs> and where are his trousers, Savannah? Well, that was before you upgraded, bro. The trousers. It's okay. He, he eventually <laughs> upgraded, as you can see, by all the Kennys behind me. The 800 Kennys that are back there, yeah. Yeah, I need to get a hey. shelf for that one because there's nothing to hang in. Oh god, that sounds horrible. There's nothing to hang this figure. Like no, no wow. little thing. To... That's crazy. I'm... You said there's nothing to hang him. Well, Damn, hangman's on that wall, not that wall. 
I know. Oh, hang on. I miss this motherfucker too, but I hope he's doing good. I'll come back next week. I hope so. Maybe Kitty brings backup. I talked about it on my story, which is why you should follow me on Instagram. <laughs> At Wadu Garcia. Uh, no underscores about me. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> the whole gist. Yes. <laughs> I will talk about the whole gist when we are done. Yes, 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 yes. Um, all right, cool. Today in women's wrestling history, today, of course, being April 25th as we record. No surprise here, NXT Spring Break in 2023. <laughs> wow. I know. Crazy how things work like that. Uh, we had Cora Jade defeating Lara Valkyria. We had Fallon Henley and Josh Briggs defeating Kiana James Brooks Jensen. This was when, you know, Kiana was being real shady and like had a thing for Brooks, but like didn't have a thing for Brooks. And it was a whole thing. And like they were attacked. Yeah. It was very, that was like soap opera type shit during that. <laughs> That was a time. This was also a time. Indy Hartwell, who was the NAC Women's Champion at the time. Y'all remember that? Yes. Most people don't. Uh, defeated Roxanne Perez and Tiffy Time. Tiffany Shreddon. Tiffy Time. I love Red. Tiffy Time. I also love um, Didn't, because Indy had to relinquish the title because she got hurt. Yeah. She never won it back, no? mm That's probably why your ring got cut short. Yeah, so... I don't know. I don't necessarily remember how long her reign was, but she fucked up her ankle and then had to relinquish the title because when she got drafted. Oh, I yeah. Drafted week, um, when she got drafted, she had a boot on still. Because her and Grayson Waller were both injured when they got called up. But Grayson Waller was like a mystery and like no one told us and like we had to find out the hard way. <laughs> yeah. I love me some Grayson Waller though. Love that dude. I, Katie, there's no denying the Grayson Waller effect, Katie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no deny. I can deny it. Fine, Katie, you can deny it, but you're just in denial. What by denying? <laughs> by just, denying? Uh, never mind. <laughs> I had a whole TikTok sound in my head, but I don't know if anyone's going to understand it, and I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah, TikTok is getting banned. I'm pissed. Y'all can't do anything about anything else, but you coming together for TikTok ban? Bullshit. Fuck y'all. I'm saying this. Look, shit. I'm not even on TikTok, TikTok, but yeah, like I'm just like, bro, we have bigger issues here in the states. Give like, me my funny haha's. That's all I want. You, I, I have no Vine. I have TikTok. Let me have this. Give me what I want. What fuckers? Yeah. Because they're disrespectful and they hate me, yes, and I can't yes, have they. nice things. You know, they are just y'all know. Um, <clears throat> so we're on to wrestlers of the week now, and Your I believe, turn. yes, because I let you start last week because you birthday. Good my birthday. birthday. Solid foods and all now, crazy. Yeah, man, solid foods are so good. Who? Why? why solid foods been... are crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, miss. I was missing out on the hype. <laughs> uh, oh man, we're gonna keep this gun forever. I love this. I know. I'm gonna be 30. And you're gonna be like, wow, she's walking. I'm like, oh my god, guys, <laughs> she's walking now. It's crazy. <laughs> no, hey, you'll be Lord. walking in a few. You'll be walking in like two years. You got time. Gonna you're a fast be, learner. I'm gonna be in kindergarten by 30. Hey, Billy Madison. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but my tag team, I got one tag team and one tag team only. It's all about the family over here. Tony D'Angelo, Channing Stacks Lorenzo, Luca Crucifino. I think I said his name right finally for the first time. I always <laughs> add too many syllables that aren't needed. Uh, listen, they beat the brakes off of and, uh, Baby Regal and Friends. Baby no Regal. Quarter Catch Crew, which is a terrible name. Baby Regal and Friends is way better. Um... <laughs> they're playing into this like the family whacked Drew Gulak you know Gulak's not really with the company after like all that Ronda shit happened mm -hmm. so they put it in a storyline basically that no quarter catch crew I'm sorry Baby Regal and Friends said they put a hit out basically on Gulak and the family took it and you know got him 
So I love that they're doing that. I want everyone who is like getting fired on that aspect to be like whacked by the Don and the family. That's all I ask nice. for. Is, you know, give Katie what she wants. Give me something that I want. Okay, well, you guys give me tricks. So, like, give me another thing that I want. <laughs> keep giving stuff that she wants. Like, keep giving me things that I want. I feel like this isn't hard. You know, I don't ask for many things, but the things I ask for, I really appreciate it. If you can get it for me, thanks. Um, but yeah, that's that's my only tag team. I know where you're going. Oh, I wonder. Oh, man. It's oh, so yeah, I wonder who. Oh, I wonder oh, who. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's three three time. Your tag team. Three elite, three time AEW tag team champions. My boys, the Bucks, they won the titles. Hell of a ladder match. Um, I saw someone on Twitter say, oh my God, it's like they were trying to have a consistency who could take the nastiest bumps. Those bumps were pretty brutal, some of them. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of FTR. And I don't even know if the Bucks or FTR really like each other. I don't know what the deal is with them. But they, I will tell you one thing, and that is they, they can put on hell of matches. They can cook together. So they're, I would consider them wrestling soulmates at this point. They definitely can put, put on, like, banger after banger after banger. So props to both teams. But only one team came out with the gold, and that's my boys. And so, and again, I don't know if Jack Perry is officially with the elite, but he, I mean, it kind of looked like it. <laughs> he's hanging out with them. I mean, I would too, bro. Just, you know, he's hanging out with them. He's the scapegoat. So we'll see. We'll see where, where this goes. We'll see. I mean, again, I didn't watch the pay-per-view, but I know that uh, the books and then the, the books, the books, the books, the, the, books. Books. Uh, the bucks, the buckaroos. And, you know, FTR, Fear the Revolver, the bald one. I heard they had a really good match. <laughs> I it do it every really time to make you pop now. <laughs> now that I know it makes you pop, I'm doing it every time. <laughs> Just have the Fear the Revolver and then the bald one. <laughs> Listen, oh, I don't know God. why I always got them mixed up. I don't know why. It just, it's funnier this way. The bald one. <laughs> the bald one is it's dad. And yeah, but like I also think it's funny how like even before the whole Cash Wheeler incident, that's how they would they would categorize them: FTR hair, FTR bald. But now, yeah, FTR, FTR gun, hair, FTR bald, fear of the revolver, the bald. That's now, just how now it's know. FTR gun. Oh my god! I wonder if Cash knows that that will never that will forever be part of him. Well, if his ass goes to jail, he will. <laughs> I think his hearing's like next month. Maybe that's why FTR lost. Oh shit, if Real Revolver's going to prison? Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure he's What's gonna be. What's the okay bald with... one gonna do? <laughs> he's gonna start a podcast and then just kiss CM Punk's ass and bitch about everything. Oh wait, he already did that! He's just gonna start a podcast. Yeah, honestly. Uh, Even his own fans that. were talking about how, like, dude, come on now. Like, I didn't even think on. about Fear the Revolver actually like going to prison. I don't think he's going to prison, but I... I. We don't know. It was Florida, I think. I spit. But like, Florida likes guns, so they're gonna be like. But eh, Florida you... also, you know, that's what I'm saying. Florida's crazy, man. They're probably gonna think like, oh, the guy probably deserved it. He probably provoked him. Honestly, Florida's batch of fuckers. Absolutely bonkers. Florida's not real. It's kind of ironic that Disney's in Florida, but Florida's like fucked all over the place. Well, I've never been to Disney. What? I know. That's what we should do together, Katie. We should go to Vegas and then go to Disney. <laughs> Bitch, say less to Vegas. Let's go. Vegas, I, know, right? Disney. I will wear this shirt. Actually, it depends. If it's hot as balls, I'm taking this off. I'm going to take that off. Oh, in Vegas? Forget it. It's going to be super hot. Well, depending on when we go. That's true. That is true. You know, I've gone in July. It wasn't that bad. I went in August. You uh, went to Vegas in July and lived? I went 4th of July weekend for Money in the Bank, yeah. Oh, yeah, that it was 4th of July weekend. I forgot. But um, I went yeah. in, um, oh, like, I think it was, it was in July, but it was, like, late July. Oh, my God. Like, it was super fucking hot. Like, 114 degrees. 
That's why, like, and, people, that's how they get people in their casinos, man, because it's cool and it's dark. Oh, and listen, I had, I had a tall drink in my hand, my sunglasses on. I you can have your drinks with you? Yeah, that's another thing. You can have your drinks with you. It's not like, oh, keep them away from the machines. No, they're like, go ahead, take it with you. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm taking it. I'm sitting there. I'm losing my money. I don't even care. Jesus said, I went to Vegas for SummerSlam. I was also there. The crazy thing that Jesus and I were in the same place at the same time, we didn't know. And Double or Nothing Bro. last year, both times. We I want to go to a Double or Nothing pay per view. Like, come on. One of these days. One of these days, I'll go. Yeah. Someday. Not this time, though. I ain't got money for that. Well, yeah. My boys. Tag team. Well, and, and like, listen, if WrestleMania is in Vegas, which, like, it should be, I gotta I say for that. I keep hearing the rumors. I keep hearing the rumors. I hope. I hope so, because then, like, we can get the whole squad in Vegas, round two. I can actually get pictures with fucking Young Kings this time, since like, that didn't happen last time. Because whatever. I just, I, I literally didn't, I didn't even think about it until, like, after the fact. I was like, damn, well, there's, like, no evidence I was even out there with them. That's so you know why there's no documentation? No. Just me taking pictures of the three of them. <laughs> Dang, I would have thrown her a couple selfies. I mean, I there was like a few selfies like that I took for myself that I posted, but no, but with everyone, key. I didn't think about it. But then, like when I went to Chicago, I don't know how that fucking was at this point. Like I got pictures like Matt and Vince and just yeah, Jesus, same thing. Like I was, I saw Jesus, I met Jesus. No picture was taken. He's real. He's real. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. No, he's real. I promise. Um, wow, we just I, we just went off. And that was all because really the FTR gun and the other and the bald one. The other revolver and the bald one, yeah, exactly. Uh, anyways, my famale. Um, because I had a feeling you were gonna go AW, so I did not. It's go easy AW. with pay per views, man. It's so yeah. easy with pay per views. So I knew you were gonna do all the dynasty stuff. So I was like, I'll I'll stick WWE side here. Yeah, uh, I'm going. Jada Parker. Hey, Miss Parker. Um, it's a hell of a fucking match. I love everything they're doing with her. She's great. Her hair came out on NXT on Tuesday after her match. And then, because, you know, she had, like, a whole ass, like, bun underneath yeah. the hair. And, like, took the hair out and, like, kind of swung it and, like, threw it. I was like, bad bitch energy. Let's go. Won her match. Yeah. Lost her hair. Didn't care. Batty. I love Jada. I, I'm very intrigued. She might be our first, you know, they haven't really teased anything yet, but might be the first NXT North American Women's Champion. I wouldn't be mad. Her or Kalani or Fallon. Those are my three choices. Or Sol Ruka, who also gets a shout out. I forgot to put that down. She's also one of my picks. Yeah. But, you know. All right. Savannah. Yeah, I mean, she won the TBS championship, well-deserved. I love seeing Willow Nightingale thrive. She's such a sweetheart. Like, I need to see her live one of these days. She just seems like, even if you're having a bad day or a bad time, or your favorite team just lost, you just see her come out and you just kind of, your spirits get lifted. Yeah. She seems like, you just can't help but be like, you know, even if you're not completely happy, you're feeling better than you were before her presence True. was known. So, True. yeah. True. Much love to Willow. Nothing against Mercedes, but I really hope she's not. Willow's not a transitional champion. I really hope not. Like Willow deserves a nice, good reign with that title. But we'll if, just have to see. If Mercedes wins, Tony Khan better keep that neck brace close. <laughs> oh boy. I mean it. You're gonna I'll call the lead on him. I'll do it myself. <laughs> oh, okay, you don't need the elite. All right. I'll call Fear the Revolver and the bald one. Maybe he'll do something. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, hey. Uh, breaking news. Valhalla's pregnant, apparently. What? Babies are Twitter? wrestling. Babies are wrestling grows. Hold on. I'm checking real quick on Twitter. Babies are wrestling. Babies are wrestling. It's crazy. Um, where's she? Valhalla. That's B. Hold on. Let me try that again. Uh, oh, she announced on Instagram. Switching platforms. <laughs> Switching pl switching platforms. Oh, uh, uh, how fuck? 
B L. <laughs> I don't know how to spell her name. Oh, there she is. Um. Oh yeah, November of twenty four. Oh my goodness. Oh well, congrats to Valhalla and Eric from Viking Raiders because that is her husband. Oh, that's fun. Whoa. Okay, good. That also would explain why she really hasn't been on TV recently. Yeah, that that would do that it. Does, does try. That's Viking Raider Bulb. Yes, I know which one that one is. Because <laughs> Ivar is the uh, one on TV. <laughs> so, because Eric is hurt. <clears throat> yeah. So, congrats to them. Babies are wrestling grows. Babies Stack are wrestling. federation we have. It's crazy. I know. We need the royalties for all of that, because... Honestly, <laughs> we might. <laughs> we we trademarked this shit. Whether Babies we said it or not, it's trademarked. Um, all right, my Nanzas, my Mollets. I wonder who. There's one and one only. Whoop that trick. Let's go. Trick Williams, new NXT champion, like I said. Whole place was rocking and russing. Um, British Strong Style, uh, Peter Dune and Tyler Bate. Big Strong Boy, Johnny Gargano, The Creeds, Ivy Nile, they were all like sitting with the audience watching it happen. So that was cool. Like all the alums from NXT were kind of just like showing up throughout the night, which was really fucking cool. Damien Priest had an interaction with Dragonoff. It was it was a time. It really gave it like that, excuse me, that like big fight feel kind of throughout the night. Yeah. Of Trick and Ilya. And the people who were saying, because this is a bunch of shit I saw, people who were saying that Trick and Dragonoff copied, putting it in quotes for those listening, copied the spot from Daniel Spin and Osprey. No, they did not. They copied, quote unquote, their spot from Vengeance Day. <laughs> Copy. Like it's it was the same spot exactly, except Trick actually connected this time. Okay. That's literally all it was, and people were like, eh, 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 "Fuck off!" It just, just, just why? Everyone copies everyone. Everyone has the same move. You know when people do a spear, thirty-five. You know who does the best? Brown Breaker. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, no, I was gonna piss you off, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do Who was I gonna say? You're probably gonna say like fucking Charlotte or some shit that pissed me off. Oh no, I was gonna say something worse. Who? Oh. No. Like... No. If it's Bill, uh uh-uh. uh. That man's <laughs> fear is trash. Everything that man does is garbage. I was gonna say Bill. See, the bald one. It's always the bald one. I meant Bill Nye, Katie. What you mean? <laughs> Bill has a I would kill Bill. to see Bill Nye in a nasty spear. On Bill Goldberg. Who do I gotta pay to make that happen? Why not? Why not? Make it happen. Science rules, guys. (laughs) (laughs) You can say that after he disappears. Exactly! It's his catchphrase. Who who do I got contact? Who's booking this? Let's go. (laughs) Papa H, obviously. Oh, Papa H. Paul Paul Quebec. Quebec. (laughs) Paul Quebec. Oh, God. Wow. Off the rails. Yeah. Trick Williams. My, <laughs> pick, my man's Trick Willy. New champion. Solid Savannah? pick. Solid Your pick. manses? My manses. I have two, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, One of them, I predicted he would win against the All-American Nightmare Dragon, Jake Long, Brian Danielson. William yes. Osprey. Don't sleep on Osprey, motherfuckers. Don't do it. Because he just proves you wrong. And he did. Because he won the match. And oh my god, that shit was a fucking banger. Good ass match. Came up on top. William Osprey, give this man some gold, please. He um, has a match at Double or Nothing for gold. That is true. Better put Against shitty little boots. Roddy yeah. Strong. Better beat those shitty little boots off, Mr. Roddy Strong. <laughs> please cry Mitch back Strong to Adam! Um, Adam! Adam! <laughs> 
Um, oh man, that just took me back to a little sidetrack, but that just took me back to when Roderick Strong would have injured Adam Cole, boot and all, doing moving all the furniture and stuff because he's a bitch with his shitty little boots. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, and my second pick, whose house? Swerve's house. Whose house? Oh my god, yes. Yeah. I already <laughs> talked about how fucking awesome it was to see that happen, but yeah. Well deserved. Swerve is our world champion. Love to see it. And you know what this means? Hopefully, we get to see him and Aiden throw it back again. Again. Have him throw it back. Yeah. I throw just picked the working contest since all of it's oh my all mess. But yeah. Congratulations to Swerve. That is long overdue. Like, this man fucking deserves it. Love to see it. And I remember people were like, he should have gone back to NXT. He's not, they're not doing anything with him there. Bitch, he's a world champion now, so. Hey, well done, Swerve. I saw a tweet. It's like kind of relates to that, but also just all of the shit that happened like on Dynamite and Dynasty and everything. If MJF comes back to AEW, this is the AEW he's coming back into. A shitstorm. Also, hello, Allison Madeir. Hello. Maybe MJF's gonna be the one to bring everything back together. He's gonna... MJF's like, Tony Khan, listen. You know, like while Tony MJF Khan's laying there in her neck brace, listen, bud. MJF will publicly call out how fucking stupid Tony Khan was for showing that footage, and he will say it with his chest, and I'm just, I need that. Like, someone gotta say it. Because let's let's call the spade a spade real quick before we do quick little uh, question of the week. The footage didn't really do anything. It was Perry not was necessary. already over because of all of that shit. It did it, it did nothing. They could have done this whole angle without showing that, or with that, or with puppets instead, like we talked about. Where is the yarn bucks? That could have been how they well, did it. Because the yarn books are owned by a fraud. Well, yeah, because she's Yarngate 2024. Um, <laughs> I saw <laughs> someone, I think it was at Rebellion. It could have been something else. They had a shirt and it just the picture. Oh, yeah, here. Yarn Side of the Ring. Dar- yarn Side of the Ring. It was the, bu- oh my God, I was dying. I was like, this is fucking fantastic. And I think the girl who created him, I think her name's Melissa. Yeah. Melissa, shout out. I think she was like, I need to make this. <laughs> That's genius, is what it is. Um, I want one of them shirts, but... It's just... Yeah. The, the footage did nothing. To give it didn't. Point. No, it didn't. No. So that's why I need MJF to call TK out on his bullshit like that. <laughs> what do you do? You fucking Sorry. mark! Exactly! Yeah. Bro, bye. Bro, bro needs to pop off again. Can't wait. Very excited for when that happens. As am I. Oh, excuse me. All right, folks. Question of the week time. Quick, simple, little little question of the week here. The draft technically starts tomorrow, as we record. Oh, shit. So it's two nights. Smackdown, first night, and then Raw, the second night. Their champions are not moving brands. They I like came the out with they came out with the rules. Let me just quickly pull it up again because I forgot to save it. But it's in my group chat. Let me see. I'm gonna Google them. Uh, draft rules <clears throat> on SmackDown. There will be four <laughs> rounds, sixteen total picks. On Raw, there will be six rounds, twenty four total picks. Oh, Champions shit. on each brand are protected. Um, the women's tag team championships are eligible. Uh, SmackDown will pick first on Friday. Raw will pick first on Monday. Rosters lock May 6th on Monday. Now, with that being said, they did release, like, obviously there'll be NXT call-ups, and um, they released specific pools of who can be drafted each night. And obviously when we have our show next week, I will have a list of where everybody went, because... I have nothing better to do with my time, so I write down where people go. And especially the call-ups, because the call-ups are fun. Especially when they show them all in the the NXT locker room. It's fun. Um, Off-rip, just 
quick. Um, any tag teams you think are going to be split throughout the draft? I don't know if it's going to be like, well, maybe. I keep, I saw a rumor that apparently DIY might get split. Oh, shit. Apparently, there people are saying that, like, the crowd's not, like, reacting to them or they're not receptive to the crowd as, as much as, like, I guess they would have hoped. Mm-hmm. So they might split them up. Uh, yes, JJ is just one week, two nights of the draft. So maybe DIY, but I don't know, man. I just hope they. I just hope Johnny or Tommaso don't go into limbo because of the split. Yeah, agreed. Um, I don't. I'm just trying to think of all the tag teams. Like Imperium's basically split. Like they, Ludwig beat the shit out of Giovanni Vinci this past week. So they're basically done. Um, New Day's never breaking up because they're not allowed. The Creed's are never breaking up because they're also not allowed. Um, Bloodline's still a thing. Awesome no yeet and no yeet. Yeet, no yeet. Oh, Jimmy's apparently injured. I forgot to put that in. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, an undisclosed amount of time he'll have off. But I was just like, oh, geez, what happened? So, I mean, it very well could have just been because of all the stuff that happened the other day, or last week, two weeks ago? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I can't think of any other tag team. DIY is probably like, the only one off-rip I can think of that probably will split if they split any. Yeah. That's really yeah. all I could think of anyway, also. Um, and NXT call-ups that are definitely happening, because they announced them. Ilya Dragunov was announced for the draft. Roxanne Perez also was announced for the draft, which is bullshit because she's the fucking champion right now, so, like, I don't want that happening again. They're gonna make her release it. No! Okay, but then that plays into this... The champions are not eligible thing. So they originally said, when she showed up on Raw to face... I don't remember who she faced. The Raw I was at, I don't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure they said that week that she was eligible for the draft. But now that the rules came out a few days ago, it's like champions are... Is it just for locked. SmackDown and Raw, or does NXT I apply? I don't know. Because they still treat NXT like it's nothing. It just Yeah. Happen. That's what I'm I saying. They could be like, oh, well, it's NXT, so it doesn't count. I think Ava should definitely have, like a hand in this draft too like she should get her own night of a draft and be like all right these are the fuckers i want back in nxt like let's go she should i think think she should i don't know why they haven't done that yet especially because they have like some people from the main roster go to nxt yeah no they do all the time and it's just like like natalia's in there right now like chilling because she has an NXT underground match next week against Lola Vice. And Shayna Baszler was announced as Lola's like training partner. I was like, that's fucking dope. Here we go. Do something with Shayna, please. You know what? Fuck it. How's Shayna go back to NXT? She was dominant as fuck in NXT also. She would kick ass in NXT. I mean, shit. Mine as well. Her and Zoe can go down. Fuck it. I don't care. Zoe can come too. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> you're like you're like playing with like your young or something like all right fine i guess you can play too and you give them a fake controller and they can yeah thing. <clears throat> i'm trying to think of anyone else at NXT that more than likely will go up um i don't know if any of the women maybe kiana james i think i did say this in um scw video that just came out actually as we were recording um i don't know maybe it's it's hard with nxt because like some people you think just thrive in nxt and don't or shouldn't move to it the depends, main roster i'm gonna say it just depends on how they're booked really some people just are treated better than others yeah so i don't know i mean dragonoff's 1000 percent probably going to whatever show gunter's on gunter yeah big goon big goon Big Goon. Big Goon and Dragon off part fucking three or whatever. I want that shit. Also, since, you know, Big Goon, they took the title, the IC title off him, let's just have him go after a world title. 
might might as well. I think that's the plan. So they announced King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring. Um, I actually wrote that down for the other notes, not mine. Uh, May twenty fifth in that's their Saudi show. I think okay. Big Goon wins it, becomes King of the Ring, and then uses that King of the Ring opportunity because I guess they get like a title opportunity, mm-hmm. and goes after whichever champion of whichever show he's on. We'll say Cody because Goon and Cody from like the first Rumble that Cody came back in, like. Yeah. I would like to see it. What do I got that to? Um, yeah. I, oh, I do think Judgment Day will break up. You think so, for sure? I think so. Because Mommy's been gone a week and the cracks are showing. I guess that's true. Mommy, the glue's not there to keep it together. The leader is gone. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Jay Uso said to Damien Priest. He's like, the leader is gone. Tell Mommy I said, what's up? <laughs> Which, like, like, Jay, that's my woman. The back the fuck off, bro. Like, I don't know why Jay was trying to get my lady like that. My my mommy, of all people? The audacity. Uh, Yeah, so draft is gonna be crazy. We just gotta wait and see. Shit's gonna happen. I don't know if they're gonna do, like, these fucking... What do they call them? Like free agents or whatever. I don't know if they're gonna do those again this oh, year. Oh, hmm. I feel like with like the wrestlers that they just never utilize, then yeah, maybe just because it wouldn't like. Oh, why are they like you know? Why are they on Raw? Why are they on SmackDown? Just like oh, they just need an impromptu match real quick. Fucking right. Odyssey Jones was drafted two drafts ago to Monday Night Raw. Where has he been? Not on TV. That's fucking weird. He's still with the company. <laughs> so I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh but yeah, so next week we definitely gonna have an update on who's is where's and what's happening with this draft and other shenanigans that might ensue. Apparently collision and rampage are on Saturday at the back to back, but after the fucking NBA finals. So who knows what time that's even gonna be. I don't know. I just I saw it and was kind of paying attention when they were on, talking about it on Dynamite last night. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, well, that sucks because Smackdown was going in an hour early." <laughs> so, I and G I Y G no G Y V. There's too many letters, too many acronyms, too many people. Grizzled young vets are going to be on Collision. They announced they did a video thing earlier today on Twitter. So that'd be cool. So people who've watched Collision, Grizzly Young Vets are going to be there kicking ass, taking names as they do. <sighs> Alright, I think we've had enough draft side talk. conversations and draft and FTR my ball. oh my. Fear the Revolver, the bald one, Paul Quebec, <laughs> Whose House, Swerve's House, motherfuckers. Whoop that trick. We've had it all, folks. All the sayings. All the sayings, all the things. Baby are wrestling. Babies are wrestling is growing. Federation keeps going stronger and stronger. Got that stacked ass roster. We really do. One of these days, I gotta like sit down and like think about when we started and like who's all had wrestling babies since. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe that's what we should do. We should have like a mock draft of the babies are wrestling. <laughs> That'd be so hard. <laughs> Uh, that'd be funny, though. That's a lot of children. It, that's what I'm saying. That's why it would be so hard. <laughs> uh, maybe one of these days. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But, you know, thanks for hanging out with us and all this cuckoo bananas and all this fun shit. Uh, Savannah, tell the people where they can find you and all that fun stuff. Um, you can find me, like I mentioned earlier, where you should follow me. That is Instagram and on Twitter, at YDeGarcia underscore with the underscores. And I mean, that mistake has been made. We're in the end game now, guys. I'm like up against, I'm about to go up against the final battle with Thanos here at my last couple weeks of the semester. Wish me luck. Mm-hmm. Ooh, man, it's getting scary. Um, but we're, we're getting there. Um, I have my cap. We found it. Good. Um, I'm, I'm going to decorate it. I don't know when. Soon. 
Actually, I need to mm-hmm. order something on off Amazon for it. But yeah, we're going to kind of decorate it. It's gonna be pretty cool. I, I'm not gonna say what it is. Only Katie and a few close friends know. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty cool. excited um, to decorate my cap because I don't think anyone's ever done what I've done. So nope. So yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, hopefully, I'm really hoping. I think honestly, I might take the summer off before I officially seek employment. So that way I can kind of just do a few things for myself, you know, whether it's contribute to the Patreon, do some projects here. Cause like, mm-hmm. it's just been, it's been hard, man. But yeah, Keep hopefully. Busy. You got it. You got this. Thank you. <clears throat> of course you can follow me on Twitter, Katie Rasson 13, link to her about to get all things. She leads showcase, um, uh, twitch.tv slash she leads showcase. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, Thursdays, 6 p.m. Eastern ish, 6 15. 6 15. You can watch us on Twitch. You can watch us on YouTube.com slash the showcase. You can go to both of those places at the same time. You got two tabs on your phone, on your computer. Open both. Why not? Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash the showcase. I've never brought it up. New thing should be out sometime this at week. At some point. Uh, so next week it will be done and I will talk about it and maybe give you guys a little like what I actually like fully talked about in there so you can check that out as well she the showcase.com you want to support your girls more get your merch get a sticker get the logo it's like the colors of this background kind of it's the logo that appears in the intro and the outro you know what I'm saying I'm hoping you uh, know which logo y- y- y'all better know what logo I'm about to put all the fucking logos on there if I have to damn just splatter it Logo, 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 logo. Um, actually, wait, hold on. Now that, hold on, now that I saw that. Is there? There you go. Yeah. Top right corner. That one. That one. That one. I was like, oh, I can think of it. Hope I can go away. Um, yeah. So that stuff, the typical stuff I do, smacking it raw this Saturday, getting off on Sunday. We're doing the Devil's Rejects trilogy. Okay. Like, it's going to be a time. I've watched two of the three movies I need to. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, so stuff. Stuff is happening stuff. over here. Stuff is happening. It's great time. Thank you all again. We appreciate y'all. Until next time. Bye-bye.